MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. So William, we're in front of the Ajax AJV 550 machining centre. Can you talk me through the specification of it? Uh, we started developing this machine uh, 12 months ago, working with the uh, new Heidenheim TNC 320 that Heidenheim have just brought out. Um, we're sort of aiming at the Bridgeport market with it, Bridgeport machining centres, tool makers who want to use the Heidenheim control at a more cost effective level. So we've, we talk about the 320 control, but if I was an engineer and I was machining uh, general day to day components and I was looking at surface finishes and cycle times, is there any compromise with this control? Big subject. Basically this is an analogue control, so it is more like the older controls were rather than the new technology with the digital encoders and digital drives. So this is old analogue technology with a new updated control. There's very little problem with that. The, the advantages taken forward were for high precision accuracy and other things that come along with the digital age. But really, there was nothing wrong with analog, there's nothing wrong with it now, and it brings this at a more affordable level for our customers to be able to use Heidenhain programs from before um, and other things like that. So. so I'm sensing then, if I was a subcontract engineer, by having this machine, we'll come onto the machine itself in a minute, but having this control on the machine is not going to give me, it's not going to compromise the finish on a component or the machining of a component in terms of cycle times. No, it shouldn't compromise the finish on any components. Only on very high speed machining does it. Uh, there are great advantages with uh, digital technology, so it should be fine. So for yourselves, this is a, a big, big plus? It's a big plus, yeah. We managed to bring the Heidenhain Control Machining Centre to the market at a good affordable price, under £40,000. It should, you know, hopefully be a good seller. OK, so the machine itself, under £40,000 that we're looking at here, the 550? Yep. OK, let's talk about the machine then. Uh, let's talk about the build of it, let's talk about the spindle speed, the speed of the machine. Can you talk me through that? She's basically a, a linear rail construction machine, um, 12,000 spindle option, coming down to nine or eight as uh, standard options. Um, she's doing 36 metres a minute rapids, so she's got quick tool change times. Uh, we can offer it with uh, the umbrella type tool changer that's on the machine now or with a twin arm high speed 24 tool changer. Uh, we can offer various spindle uh, speed options that we can offer from here, not us bringing machines in like that. We fit the spindle motors here. So we can basically adapt the machine more to the customer's requirements quicker and get offer quicker deliveries. Now a machining centre is a common machine tool, thousands sold every year in the UK. Lots would look at brochures and catalogues and specifications can be the same. What makes this machine a little bit different from an Ajax perspective? Um, I'd like to think we can offer and tailor uh, to the customer's requirements more. If somebody wants a faster spindle, somebody wants some more torque, we can change it. We can change the ball screw sizes. We can give it more punch and less speed. We can basically tailor it to what the customer wants. So these machines don't come in completely built as we're seeing here. This comes in as a machine that you build up. You add the control, you can change the spindle, and you do whatever the customer needs. That's correct, yes. And even after that, we can change things if the customer doesn't like the way it works, we can make the machine suit his requirements more. We offer laser calibration here where we um, put a Renishaw laser on the machine and make it very accurate. This is normally done in Taiwan or Japan. Uh, we're doing it here in the UK. We offer bull bar on the installation of the machine, which get, gives you a much better high precision setup. So when an engineer comes to look at a machine, he, he can be assured that all of that work is undertaken actually here on site in the UK at Ajax? He can indeed, yes. OK, that's interesting. Now the machine itself, looking at it, it's very well finished. I do like the finish on the control. I know what the machine looks like isn't everything, but if I open the door, it has also got a very solid feel to the machine. Is this a mo one model within a range? It is one model within the range. Uh, we go the AGV 550, uh, the 760, the 1000, and then on from there on to bigger models again. This machine, fantastic. I think if you're looking at a, a machining centre, you say under 40k? Under 40k. Under 40k with a warranty delivered to site. That's, that's obviously a competitive machine. One of the things I take from talking to yourself today, William, is about actually your knowledge, in-depth knowledge about 
the technicalities of machine tools. Uh, that would fill me with confidence, but it might also be interesting for our viewers to hear some of the things we've spoken about, about uh, thermal compensation and where the business is going in the future with these machines. You mentioned to me about ball screws and keeping ball screws uh, cool. Could you talk to us about that? We're offering the facility to have uh, the same chiller coolant that cools the chiller, to cools the spindle down, to cool the ball screw down. So we're going to keep the ball screw at 20 degrees. Ball screw is the uh, precision and accuracy of the machine. So if we can keep that at 20 degrees, it will keep the machine more accurate during the day. Okay, and how important is that? Well, with the ball screw growing during the day, uh, the customer's going to be getting far less accuracy than he thinks he's getting. If you've got a machine without glass scales on it, all the accuracy is in the ball screw, and the ball screw can grow 20, 30 microns during a cycle of a day. And if we can take that down to three or four microns, the machine's going to be far more accurate. Because if the ball screw grows, then that's going to change the, the dimensions of the machine. So essentially, what the machine thinks it's cutting, it might be cutting more, which might be creating more tool, tool wear as well. Yeah, more tool wear. I mean, I think uh, our customers at the moment think they're getting tool wear when they're actually getting ball screw growth during the day, and people compensate for it. We're trying to make a machine tool which will be more accurate all day. And there's also, uh, you, you've spoken about keeping the coolant cool, as crazy as it sounds, but what about that as well? This is a project I'm working on where we're going to put refrigeration equipment inside the coolant tank to keep the coolant at 20 degrees. So if we can keep the whole machine at 20 degrees, we're going to achieve far better accuracy results than any of our competitors. So would it be a fair assessment for me to say that you're not only interested in supplying a very competitively priced machine, but you're also going further than that. You're looking at ways of improving production for the customer. Yes, we want to work with our customers so that our customers can tell us what they want in a machine tool and we can help them try and achieve better manufacturing environment from that. It's brilliant. It's been a great insight. Thanks, William. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.